as an existing user of the UiPath platform, you could have licensed your our desktop products either through Orchestrator using uh, a machine key and the Orchestrator URL, or locally uh, using uh, your free community license. This video is about those of you who licensed uh, our desktop product locally. If you have done so, uh, let's assume that maybe you open Studio and from Studio you have published a number of processes. Now those processes, you were seeing them in the UiPath Assistant. So by opening UiPath Assistant here, you would have seen a list of processes. Now since uh, the 20.8 version of our product, uh, we have introduced a new capability of licensing, which is via a sign-in. So you would sign in into your orchestrator uh, instance. So if you open up uh, UiPath uh, Assistant 20.8 or newer, you will be greeted with this screen where you are asked to either sign in or stay offline. If you choose to stay offline, the product will go back to the state it used to be before, meaning you will see your local, local processes. Now you might wonder where are those processes located on your, uh, on your hard drive? And actually they're under program data UiPath packages. You can see here, I have three packages, actually two automations, hello world and supplier management, and supplier management has two versions, okay? And you can see those, uh, those automations here as well. Now, if you choose to sign in, either from that initial screen or from the sign in option here under uh, the account icon, you will be asked to log in into the UiPath platform. Now you might have an account or maybe you don't have an account, but let's assume that you have an account that you've created a while ago when you downloaded uh, UiPath Studio. So I will continue with email and actually um, log in into my account. So I have an existing account and actually, you know, with this account, I've never used Orchestrator. Okay, so I will log in in my account. Now, the second I do that, one thing that you will notice is that uh, you might get an error saying that interactive sign-in is not enabled for, for this tenant. Please connect using the machine key or, or enable the interactive sign-in on the Orchestrator setting. Okay. Now let me show you how to do that. I hit okay. So I go back here on cloudiipath.com. I choose my orchestrator service from here. And now I will actually switch to, uh, we have now what we call a new design for orchestrator, okay? So I will switch to the new design from here, from the account icon, uh, just to show you how to do it from here. So when I click on the tenant here on the upper right, upper left, uh, then settings, then security, you see here there's an option to enable user authentication in the system. If I check this box and I hit save, then the next time I choose to sign in, okay, let's do that again. I hit continue, yes. I will, get another error and uh, I will see a list of uh, empty processes. The error that I see now is that you can, it cannot acquire a license. So there's no license attached to the user that I used to sign in. So how do I fix that? Well, we go back into Orchestrator here and then again, under my tenant, I have users. And within my users, I have my administrators group and I have my own username here. So bripa at mailinator.com. And under my user, if I hit edit, what I want to do is make sure that we have this box checked here, automatically create an attended robot for this user, and then specify a license type. Let's say Studio Pro, okay? So I want this user to have a, to, to be assigned a Studio Pro license. Uh, no more licenses available. Okay, what about a Studio license, maybe? There we go. So we do have a studio license available uh, for, this, uh, for this particular account. So I assigned a studio license to, to myself, to this user, okay? And now if I go back into Assistant, I see here a green light uh, signifying that my robot is connected. However, I see no processes again. So I don't see any processes that have been uh, attached to this user. Now I will show you a new functionality that we have. It's called personal workspaces. In a personal workspace, you can think about it as your My Documents uh, folder. It's something that every single 
uh, user in Orchestrator that uses Studio and is connected to Orchestrator, it's their own space where they can do whatever they want. So under settings here, settings general, I have this box here called personal workspaces. So I will enable it. Uh, and at this point, I'm enabling it for my tenant. So for everybody in the tenant, but I also have to enable it at a user level. So if I go here at my user, I can see here under my attended robot, uh, I will tell it that I want to automatically create a personal workspace for this user. And I hit update, okay? So at this point, you can see here, there's a new entry called my workspace that just showed up. And here I have automations. And actually these automations, plus, you know, I might have automations in other folders here, but these automations are my own automations that I want to, uh, to have in my UiPath Assistant. So the next question is, how do I get the automations from my, uh, my folder here into, uh, into Orchestrator? And actually here under processes, uh, I have processes, I have jobs, I have my packages. So if I click my packages and then I hit the upload button, okay, now I can browse to select some files. And actually if I go to that same uh, page, I can select, uh, Let's see if, yes, I can multiple selects. I will, I will select those two processes, those two packages, sorry, supplier management and hello world. I hit open and now I upload them. And now you can see them here. So the packages are here. And what's interesting is that the processes corresponding to those packages were all automatically created for me. So now if I go back into your path assistant, you will see those same processes that I had defined locally on my, on my machine are now coming from my orchestrator instance that I'm connected to. So at this point, if I'm logging in with my same username onto a different computer, I will still have those processes with me because they come from the orchestrator side and not from my local computer. And this is how you migrate from being an, what we would call an offline user, somebody that licensed their studio and assistant using a offline community license to moving to being online and signed in into, uh, into Orchestrator and then migrating all your processes from your local, uh, local folder to uh, your personal workspace in Orchestrator. Thanks for watching.